this problem has been driving me mad for hours. I think I started looking at this problem about 6 o'clock this evening, and it's now 11.30 in the evening. However, I refuse to give up. Uh, the symptoms were you turn the computer on, and uh, the sound doesn't work, and in the bottom right-hand corner you get a little X on the sound icon that says the sound uh, Windows audio service isn't started. Um, event viewer won't load because the event logging service is crashing. Uh, you can't connect to or bring up wireless networks, or if um, the laptop didn't connect to a wireless network before all these services crashed, then you couldn't connect to a wireless network. And the symptom is you click on wireless and you just don't get anything in the list. Um, the only way I managed to work out how to, or what was crashing, was to ungroup all the services. So all the services which were crashing on startup, you run the SC config, then the service name, and then I think you set the type to own and it, it ungroups it so that if one service like the sound service crashes it doesn't take the rest of them with it. So I identified that it was the Windows Connection Manager service which was crashing and I'm going to demonstrate this here hopefully. If I click on start the process terminated unexpectedly. So after a lot of playing about and using process monitor to try and work out what was going on I believe and hope that I have found what was causing it. So, there is a file in the C drive, program data, Microsoft, data mart, whatever that means, paid Wi-Fi, networks cache, and then a file called, well, networks.json. So I've created a copy of what I think is corrupt and, and um, left the original file there. So if I try and start the network's uh, Windows Connection Manager, it just constantly process terminates. Uh, the other thing is this problem persists across an upgrade of Windows 10 build. So I was like, oh, okay, we'll just uh, don't worry, we'll do a Windows update, do an entire Windows 10 build. That will fix the problem. It didn't fix it. Updated the network card drivers, removed the network card run NetSH, IP reset, WinSock reset, none of this solved the problem. Um, what seems to solve it though is going into this folder just to, out of interest, let's see what's inside this file. Which, I haven't looked at it in a uh, hex editor, but in a text editor it's basically blank space, 2.6 megabytes of blank space. So if I delete this file and try and start the service again, oh, it works. So if you're having problems with oh, Event Viewer saying the Windows Connection Manager service terminated unexpectedly and you're having a sound going wrong and Event Viewer and just generally the whole machine seems a little bit broken, the chances are I hope for you that in this folder here, Program Data, Microsoft, Windows, Data Mart, Paid Wi-Fi, Networks, Cache, and then the networks.json file, either delete it or, more sensibly probably, in case for some reason it makes it any worse, rename it. That is a ridiculous fault.